In my last video, I gave you a tutorial of how to upload art to Redbubble. But let's say you're not an artist or a designer. Perhaps you're interested in uploading photographs. Well, today that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to explore parts of Cape Town, South Africa, and I'm gonna show you how I go about taking photos, how I edit the photos, and how I upload these photos to Redbubble. I am by no means a professional photographer. However, I have a lot of fun taking photos. So if you're looking for some inspiration, hope that you find some here today. If you don't have a fancy camera, that's okay. These days, some of the iPhones have smarter cameras than the traditional clanky things people carry around. So work with what you've got. I've got pretty nice equipment, but editing is really powerful. So I'm excited to show you how I make the magic happen in the editing room a little bit later. But first, let's have some coffee. I don't believe what we have found because neither do we. That was quite an epic morning out. After some extreme photography, I think it's time for a little fish and chips. And let me jump into the editing software too and show you what I do. Before I upload these photos to various items on Redbubble, I first need to do some editing. So let's jump into Lightroom and get editing now. To add images, I go to the top left hand corner and click on the plus button. I can then drag and drop my images or I can import them. I then click on the upload button 
and then continue. And at the top there I can see the uploading percentage. When the upload is completed, it will let me know and then I just click on that view option over there. And here are all the photos from my adventure. <laughs> I'm going to select this image to start off with. The first thing I do is crop the image. I select the one by one ratio and then I move my picture around until I'm happy with the positioning of it. And then I click on that button at the top right hand corner to start editing. What I suggest you do is figure out what you like, play with the extremes of all of the options and then when you know what your boundaries are, unleash the inner artist inside and start bringing more life and more volume to the pictures. Personally, I don't play too much on the extreme side. I kind of like to just dip my toe into all of the options as opposed to editing the image too much. However, sometimes you can have a lot of fun and just change the image completely. It's really up to you and what you like. I haven't found an easier way to save, so I click out and then I click back into the image and then download the image. And again, just it's that little button over there and I download the latest version. Next, I open Canva. If you've never used Canva, do check out one of my other videos where I explain Canva for beginners, but I'm just gonna jump straight into it now. I click on the top right over there to create a design. I choose custom dimensions, the largest, which is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. I then upload the file I just created in Lightroom. Now with Redbubble, I want to download quite a large image so that it fits all the items that Redbubble offer. So I like to increase the size to double the size so it's 10,000 by 10,000. And this does take a little bit longer to download, but again, I think bigger is always better on Redbubble as long as it doesn't change the image quality. And then I download the image and upload it to Redbubble. I just wanted to show you one more example of why I love Lightroom so much and that is because I like taking darker images. This allows me to have a lot more fun in the editing room. When the photos are too bright and the light is too strong, it's sometimes difficult to get a softer or more gentle feel. Those images can often be quite hard. And I just find that by taking darker pictures, I can play with the exposure, play with the whites, the blacks, the colors. The editing room is where it becomes a lot more artistic. And yes, the image does change a lot from what it is in real life, but it develops its own kind of beauty. And you can often add colors that are a lot more artistic and rustic than what you might have found in real life. What a day. <laughs> so if I can give you some tips, I think that would help you if you want to go out there and plan for some photos. The first thing I would suggest is planning. So actually my husband and I, we didn't end up taking any photos of the things that we planned to take photos of, but just having an idea of what we wanted got us at the right place at the right time and we ended up taking photos of completely different things. But planning I think is important because just driving somewhere and being spontaneous, maybe that works. <laughs> but if you just plan, you sort of say, some good boundaries and then any surprises that happen you can really capitalize off them and in our case it made our day so much more fun but another thing that is important is the time that you go lighting is important so midday especially here for us the sun is really bright so we had lunch at midday and then stopped but those peak hours 8 9 10 o'clock 4 5 6 o'clock depending where you live and what season you're in having that softer lighting helps you take gentle photos that you're able to have more fun with when it comes to editing. And then just on the editing side, it's your style. Some people like darker images. Some people like lighter images. Really, it's dependent on my mood. <laughs> sometimes I have a really dark feel, sometimes I have a lighter feel. I don't really have a style when it comes to photography, but when it comes to style, do what makes you happy, what you like. Because I've heard of a lot of people going into the print on demand business, focusing specifically on creating designs that they assume other people would like, and then they start, but then they fizzle out very quickly. It's like that with most businesses. If you do something that you're passionate about, sure, you might not get success straight off the bat, but you're developing your style, you're practicing your skill, and people who follow you and join your journey, they're gonna be the guys riding it out with you over the long run. So have fun.
really don't be too hard on yourself have a good time and let me know in the comments down below what you love taking photos of let me know if there's any of the pictures that i took today that you really liked i'm looking forward to connecting with you in the comments below otherwise have a magical day and i will see you in my next video Thank <laughs> you.